Hey, what's up? It's Greg and Fish and Tech Coolers, and today is Saturday, July 9th. I'm up here taking a stroll in the Mid-Island Surf, about 6 o'clock this evening. Here to share an updated fish report with you guys. So if you've uh, been fishing the last couple days off the beach, you might have seen uh, the water kind of rebounded a little bit. Uh, we had some chillier water there a number of days back, but it's definitely warmed back up uh, from those chilly upwelling events that we had. Uh, as you see behind me, there is some clean water. Uh, you'll see right now on the ocean front of LBI, one to two foot, occasional three foot swell coming on the beaches. Uh, right now we got a dropping tide. We've got, uh, I believe it was low tide at 11 o'clock tonight. Uh, I could be wrong on that, but if you want the updated uh, tides, check out uh, the Sandpaper or any tide app. Just make sure you choose the right location. Uh, Tidegraph Pro is one I personally use. I like to use the map so you can get a graphical representation of exactly where you're picking the tide at. Uh, as far as the updated fish report goes, there's flounder on the beach and there's also kingfish. Uh, if you're going to gear up for kingfish, I would use a small hook, high low rig, fish bites, live bloodworm would be the better bet. Uh, also freeze dried bloodworm from Dynabait. We've got those in stock all the time. Be sure to stop by Fish and Tech Quarters, check that scene out. Uh, if you're looking to go for fluke, I was just taking a look at a classic high low rig without the low. Just a single hook up high and a loop on the bottom for a weight. Uh, fishing a bank sinker, a drail, uh, or a cushion coin kind of style sinker something that's smooth that will slide along nicely. Uh, fish on that plain hook, a gulp, four, five inch. Uh, white, pink shot are my two favorites. Uh, you can also fish the other ones out there too. There's uh, some popular shrimps. Uh, there's popular, a lot of different popular gulp styles. Uh, you can also fish live minnow spearing. Those are definitely some classics. Um, or get into the combo kind of fluke sandwich, uh, spearing squid, or um, kind of a squid minnow combo. Those have been the classics for many, many years. Uh, so yeah, as far as the beach run goes, I would suggest if you're hitting the surf, you're looking to get into some fun fishing, kingfish and flounder, both have been good. Uh, Dave, local angler, actually reported to catch some fluke there, I think it was yesterday or today, actually had him spit up some sand eels. So it's cool to see some sand eels are in the beach, in the wash. That probably is why the ocean front uh, and the local reefs and wrecks have been good for the last couple days uh, and a couple weeks. Uh, reported the last, I think it was the last reporter, one before that, I said that the um, the Garden State North, Garden State South, Little Egg Reef, uh, even Barger Light Reef has, have, have been producing. Uh, those reports are still good. Uh, I personally haven't been out there. Uh, yesterday I did some fishing in the bay. Actually, I did some fishing all around the neighborhood. Kind of went all over the place. Um, I had John Van Orden on board with his, uh, with his son. Uh, we, I think we're scheduled for the fish like a week or two back. He, he books me every year uh, for his son's birthday. Uh, Jack, it was, uh, I think it was his ninth birthday this year, so it was like a Maybe it's third or fourth year fishing with me. Uh, every year we're getting some good quality fishing, but this year we got pushed off with weather. Uh, we wanted to be, I think it was earlier um, in the summer. I think it was like right around late, late June we were supposed to be booked. Uh, but we, we just ended up fishing uh, yesterday. Had a good day. Definitely lumpy seas. Seas were in like the two to four foot range. Even a little bigger. Um, light winds though, so it made, made fishing doable. We fished the inlet. Uh, got one striper in the inlet. Uh, no blue fish. We were looking for blues. Um, Jack definitely loves casting and retrieving lures. Uh, he's a great angler for his age. Uh, definitely an aggressive caster. He knows what he's doing. Uh, we try to look for some bluefish, no bluefish. Uh, tap back into the bay side, fish the side banks, trying to catch, once again, bluefish and bass. Uh, they eluded us. A friend of mine had a couple stripers on the side banks. That friend is Dan D. Pasquale. He's been doing pretty good. Uh, fishing some light tackle early morning on uh, the bay side. So if you want to catch those schoolie stripers, those resident bass, they're in the bay side, Barnegat Bay. Uh, whether you're fishing north end, south end, mid island, um, there's striped bass around all year. Uh, we started doing some fluke fishing, did a couple drifts, got us some fluke, uh, and then we decided to head out in the ocean. Uh, winds were light, but it was kind of buggy, and uh, I figured by, by late morning it's, the ocean started laying down, so we, uh, we kind of bounced over and uh, took a cruise outside, checked out a couple wrecks, uh, I fluked a little around them, and also uh, we're look, really looking for sea bass. Uh, first couple stops weren't really all that. Uh, we actually had to run out about, uh, about seven, eight miles to get into some better, better quality fishing. Caught our limit in, uh, on, on the jig in about, I don't know, 45 minutes it was, half hour, 45 minutes. We weren't there any more than an hour, and uh, we headed back in. And um, that was kind of our day. We, we, we kind of, like I said, we went all around the neighborhood, checked a lot of different scenes out, did a lot of different things. Uh, we caught fish everywhere we went, just about. Um, so to recap, if you're looking to get into some fishing, fluke fishing's good. You can fish off the beach. You can fish the inlet. Uh, you also fish the bay. Uh, speak of the inlet, um, the, the, the fluke fishing's been solid there really all summer long. So if you want to check out the scene there in Barnegat Light, um, you can get up there and fish along the rocks. Uh, there's some anglers catching some trigger fish uh, in the bay and also the inlet. 
Uh, some sheep's heads still being reported too. That should be happening. Both of those two critters should be happening really all summer long. Hopefully you want to get out and uh, get your line wet. Maybe you want to get it all and get into the uh, offshore fishing scene. Uh, hearing some better reports here last couple days. Uh, the midshore and, and say a little um, little further off. Uh, here's some bluefin bite and also heard a little bit of a yellowfin bite. So it's good to see. Uh, keep your uh, keep your eyes out. Uh, keep keep your, your bows pointed east. Hopefully get into that action. Uh, recent report came in from Justin Swanson. He's, uh, he's he goes out, I believe it's Belmar, um, but he's a good, good, uh, great angler, good, good friend of the shop. Uh, runs a charter service. I'll definitely reach out to him. Um, I could share that he got into a pretty good jig bite. Uh, I'd say that was probably around uh, maybe 40, 50 mile run uh, east of Barnegat Light. Uh, as far as the other fishery report goes, I uh, heard of some bluefin tuna on the troll, a little, little closer in, uh, say 15 to 20 mile run. Uh, those bluefin mostly eating, uh, mostly eating on the troll. Um, really haven't heard much action other than those two reports there that I could, that I could share. I'm going to uh, loop back around and walk this way just because I'm getting to some people here. Uh, today you can see it's, it's pretty cloudy. There's a little bit of rain drizzle here, uh, but for the most part it's been a pretty nice day. I actually shocked the crews up here in the beach and it's somewhat empty. Uh, you, like I said before, you can see the, uh, the ocean is somewhat clean. Uh, nice, beautiful turquoise water. It's awesome, awesome looking water for right now. Um, not much seaweed on the beachfront. As you see, kind of the high tide line there, the uh, little bit of a seawall we got going. Uh, very little washed up. You will see some mole crabs. Uh, mole crabs or sand fleas have definitely uh, have been out and about this season. Now the beach replenishment has kind of worked its way out and things have settled down and, and we've got this uh, beach back to more of a natural state. Sand fleas have uh, been much more prominent here the last few years. Um, if you are into fishing the summertime season, you're not using mole crabs or sand fleas, you're definitely missing out. Uh, just about everything eats them. If you catch fluke, if you catch striped bass, um, you've probably filleted them and, and found mole crabs in their mouths, I'm um, sorry, in their stomachs. Uh, they're always chewing on them. From real, real small ones to say one inch size, the, the bigger ones. Um, mole crabs are awesome, season in, season out. Great, great uh, bait for catching a variety of species. They're definitely a standout bait right now if you're trying to get the summertime stripers that cruise along the suds, you know, on the wash. They kind of cruise in those little bowls, those little pockets in on the beach. You do not have to cast far. Uh, we sell sand flea rakes. You can catch your own uh, very easily. Um, you can also buy them here at the shop. We try to try our best to keep a good selection in stock at all times uh, throughout the summer. They're a great bait for sheep's head, great bait for trigger fish. Uh, if you drop them into the rocks right now up in Barnegat Light, you'll definitely catch some tog, which are out of season. Uh, there's definitely abundance of tog around right now. Uh, you definitely catch some striped bass and fluke, like I mentioned as well. Uh, something I did want to share is down the south end of the island, if you're anybody's familiar with um, the Beach Haven Yacht Club, they've got the cheapest gas price around every year. And this year's no different. I uh, don't know the exact price of it right now, but I got a short little video pop up there of them actually dropping the, the prices. Uh, so no, no, you know, no one's... Um, you know, hasn't been affected by the gas prices. Everybody's been kind of taking on the chin here for a number of months. Um, this summer kind of kicked off with some really high gas prices. Uh, and as you can see in the little video, they're actually finally coming down a little bit. Uh, so if you guys are looking for the cheapest fuel on the water, uh, maybe you're not close by, but uh, Beach Haven Yacht Club is definitely a place to take a look. And uh, if you want to go for a little little cruise, head on down there and, and fill up. Uh, if you guys are looking to get geared up now and throughout the entire season, stop by Fisherman's Headquarters. We're located in Ship Island, Long Beach Island. You shop with us online at fishermanshedquarters.com any day, any time. Uh, we're open seven days a week, all season long, for your fishing pleasure. Love to help you get geared up for the surf fishing, uh, maybe for the fluke, fluke fish in the bay. Uh, maybe you're going to get into the later summer um, blowfish, weak fish, things like that. They're, they're going to be around. There, some being caught, nothing spectacular, but definitely a good option to head out with the kids. I want to get in to do some crabbing or clamming. Great, great thing to uh, great pastime hobby. Uh, family fun in the summertime here on Barnegat Bay and Long Beach Island. Uh, we're all geared up with all the goodies there. Uh, maybe you need some new line, uh, looking for a rod or reel service. Maybe you're looking for some fishing information, where to go, how to get there, uh, how to gear up, how to tie a knot. Uh, maybe you need some new line, you got a broken tip, you got a busted reel. We're here for you. That's what we do. I've uh, been around since 1962. So if you haven't visited us, I welcome you to stop by Fisherman's Headquarters and meet the crew. Love to help you out and get you in to have more fun catching more fish this summer season. Have a great day.